Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Wednesday the 17th of April 2024. Let me move the microphone a little bit. Okay. Uh, and I hope you are feeling well, enjoying yourself and keeping cool if you're in a scorching hot country uh, such as Thailand, where the Bangkok Post has just released figures of uh, 243 fatalities over the New Year period with 1,837 injuries. Um, I uh, think that's a bit low, but I can't. I don't have the old figures to uh, compare them with, but I have a feeling it's not as bad as it used to be, uh, you know, say 15, 20 years ago, something like that, which when it was much higher. Uh, nearly always uh, the vast majority of, of accidents and fatalities are caused through drink driving, which is why I gave a warning the other day on my channel not to drink and drive. Just, um, you know, just do one or the other. Please drink, please drive, please don't do both. But uh, people do, and, you know, we know the obvious outcome. Um, so that's unfortunate. Anyway. Um that's that uh, but as i say i have a feeling it's lower than it used to be I, I think it used to be lower than that all right what shall we do let's play a game of sudoku shall we uh, this is the new york times hard level sudoku puzzle uh, a quick reminder to people this is not a notation free channel um, but i will try to do as much as i can easily do without pencil marks so that i try not to overwhelm everybody with huge amounts of pencil marks that's all i can promise for this channel no beautiful solution no elegant solution or no quick solution just a solution if you are stuck that's all i promise all uh, right we've got sevens blocking up like this and that's how we're going to begin today's new york times uh, hard level game it's i must say that it's been pretty easy over the last couple of days but you know that doesn't normally last more than a couple of days so i'm expecting today's to be a bit trickier Well, I see something, but it's not the normal kind of thing. I've just noticed we've got threes blocking like this, and we've got fours blocking those two squares. So, in fact, we've got a pair of three and four at the end here. Now, I don't know what it means, but, oh, I do I do know something what it means. It means that's three and four, so when one blocks here, that means we're going to put a one into that square. And if that's three and four at that end, this is going to be two. Okay, great. We've got two blocking up here and up here, and that will give us the two in that square. Twos then will be here, blocking down, two blocking down here and two across there. That will be a two. By the way, uh, if you were not, if, you, if I did that bit quickly, just not pointing out two blocking up and across there, that's how I knew twos were in those squares there. Ah, now down to here, we've got two across here and two across here. So there's a two we can grab as well. And now we've got two blocking these two squares and two blocking this square. So that is, in fact, our two. So it looks like we're going to finish them off, right? Two's across here and two up there. I think this is the last. No, it's not the last. Ah, we've got another one here. Two blocking up here, two across there. There we go. That's the last one. Now back to what I, whatever it was I said, three and four go here. So can we do anything else here now that we know that's three and four? Do we know anything about the ones? Uh, not sure. What have we got? Seven, eight, five, seven. Okay, so we've got a triple here, haven't we? Seven, eight, and five. Uh, remember, this is gone already. This is three and four, right? So look, these three squares are seven, eight, and five. Wonderful. So seven, eight, and five, and 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 I don't know. <laughs> anyway, seven, eight, five, eight, uh, it's there. It's there. Seven, 
Okay, uh, all right, so what else does it mean? So now I did know this was three and four. This is seven, eight, five. So this is seven, eight, five, three, four. So one, one, six in these squares here. Is that right? One and six. One and six. So, uh, I'm lost. One six. What else? One six. Three four. Three nine. Three four nine. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, uh, okay. So one blocking up. Oh no, no, no. Forget that. It's not, not, not enough. Okay, forget that. All right. Uh, I think. I just ignore this for now because uh, I don't know what it means. But let's see what else we're looking for. What do we need here? We need five, six, and nine. Is that right? Okay. What do we need in this column here? We're looking for one. We're looking for seven, eight, nine. One, seven, eight, nine. Ah, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me think now. This was 1 and 6, right? Wasn't it? I think it was 1 and 6. So this, this, and this have to be 3, 4, and 9, right? 3, 4, and 9. Now, uh, I, I, I saw, oh, this is 3, 9, this is uh, 3, 4, and this is 3, 4, 9. But I've just realized, look, 3 blocking across here puts 3 into one of these squares. So th this can't be 3 or 4. It must, in fact, be 9. Okay. So that would mean we have 3, 4, 3, 4 like this, and it means that this square cannot be 3 or 4. Is it worth investigating? No, it could be s 5 or 6 at least. So no, I'm not looking for a unique rectangle there. Ah, we've got 8 across here and 8 up there, an easy number. I wonder if that's been there for a long time. Probably.
All right, let's uh, go through the digits bit by bit and see if we can spot something. I haven't done that yet. There we go. I knew it was worthwhile doing that. Going through and checking the easy ones if they are available. Nine, we've got nine blocking across here. That's going to give us nine in that square now. Six blocks this square. We need a six for this column. It goes there. This is a five, I think, for this column. So 5 is one of our missing digits here, 5 blocking across here, across here and down there. That means that's a 5. 5 blocking up there will give us 5 in that square. Seven across here and here means that that's a 7. Four is one of our missing numbers blocking down to the bottom here. Four blocking down here and four across here means that that's a four. Our other missing digit up here is a nine. Nine blocking down here, nine across here and nine across there gives us nine in that square. Six and nine block this square here. That's going to put six and nine into these two squares and leave us enough room to squeeze in a seven for this column. Seven blocking up here, seven down here. There's the seven. Seven across here, across here and down here means we get seven in that square. And seven down here and across there means we finish the sevens. Yes, true. <coughs> Uh, a 1 and 8 block here, so this is 1 and 8 in those squares to complete this column. The missing number here is 6. 
and over here we still are looking for a three now this was three and four wasn't it I've remembered since the beginning three blocking up here there's the three there's the four and four going up here and uh, well, this was three four as well wasn't it so it's going to be the four now okay four blocking across here there's our four this is nine I remember memory is doing quite well today actually normally it's abysmal but not quite so terrible today that's a nine as well four and nine block this square four and nine are going to be over here in fact we've got four there four blocking here there's the four there's the nine and this will be a one to complete the row um, Now, uh, I haven't forgot any singles here, but I do remember this was 1 and 6. So this is not 1 or 6, it's going to be 5 and 8. Any help on 5 or 8 yet? No. And that puts 8 there, so no, that still doesn't help. Okay. Just a, just trying. Just trying. Right, what's left down here? We're looking for 1 and we're looking for 8. And in this row, we're looking for 1, 6. Six and eight. I think we've got sixes there. So this this is also one six eight. We've got ones here. One six there. That's right. Uh, three, five, six. Ah. One blocking up here and one across there will give us one in that square. Six blocks this square. We need a six in the top row. It goes there. This is a five to complete the top row. Five blocking down here means that's a five. Missing number here is three. Uh, 9 stops this from becoming a 9. Here's our 9 in this square and this is 8 to complete the column. And the last number to place here is 6. Three blocks up here giving us three in this square this is a five five down here five up there gives us five in that square and the last number to place down here is eight I think I think it's eight it certainly was eight blocks across there there's our eight and the missing number here is one one across here gives us one there the last number here is six one more digit to go in this column which is an eight eight blocks across here there's our eight the missing number here is a three three blocking across here and up there means that's a three uh, one blocking down here gives us one in that square one across here means that's a one this is a six of course I remembered that six across here gives us six in this square and nine finishes the game so again still not too tough a little bit tougher than yesterday maybe but still not not too terrible okay thank you see you around bye bye